Naam, bila shaka mtazamaji wa Kwanza TV, hujambo ni kukaribisha katika habari. Jina langu naitwa Asia Gamba. Timu ya taifa ya Tanzania leo imeondoka nchini kuelekea nchini Misri ambapo itashiriki michuano ya Afcon itakayoanza Juni 21 mwaka huu. Kocha mkuu wa timu ya taifa Emmanuel Yamunike amesema kikosi kimeondoka na wachezaji 32 huku saba wakiachwa kutokana na kutoonyesha kiwango kinachoridhisha. Timu ya taifa ya Tanzania Taifa Stars hileo imeondoka kwenda Misri kwa ajili ya mashindano ya Afcon yatakayoanza kutimwa vumbi Juni 21 ya mwaka huu. Kabla ya kuanza safari kikosi cha Taifa Stars kikiongozwa na nahodha Mbwana Ali Samata asubuhi ya leo wamefanya mazoezi ya mwisho katika uwanja wa taifa. Kila safari haikosi changamoto ni maneno ya kocha mkuu wa timu ya taifa Emmanuel Munike akizungumuza muda mchache baada ya kumalizika kwa mazoezi huku akiamini kwamba kujituma na kujitoa kwa dhati ndio ushindi wa taifa stars huko Misri hivyo hana shaka na hilo ukilinganisha na aina ya wachezaji aliyokuwa nao but unfortunately, uh, not all the 39 players will travel with us, so we have to go with uh, 32 players. With the two young players that we have, Kevin and uh, Boniface, uh, whom we are encouraging for the future. Uh, because I also believe it's very, very important uh, we have to start looking at the future. We cannot only depend on today. Uh, some of the players we have in this team some will continue, some may not continue. So it's always important you have replacement. If we drop Nkude, uh, we drop uh, Hamis, uh, we drop uh, Ayub, uh, we know that Kapombe is injured. Uh, we drop Kennedy. So I think these are the seven players that uh, will not be making it to, the, to Cairo. Kuhusu kuwa na idadi kubwa ya wachezaji wanaocheza soka la kulipwa nje ya nchi, mwalimu wa Munike anasema uwepo wao haimaanishi kwamba wao ndio wanaweza zaidi kwani yeye haangalii ni wapi mchezaji anatoka bali anachoangalia ni mchango gani mchezaji anaotoa katika timu ya taifa. You have to convince the team. You not convincing me as a coach. Me I'm the coach. And uh, to be honest to you if the team grow I will grow. So I want the best leg, I want the best players that can help the country to grow, that can help the team. Uh, you guys say 39 years uh, since uh, Tanzania made it to the AFCON. Uh, totally, I agreed with you, it's 39 years. But I also can tell you that uh, 39 years is just a number. If we believe in ourselves as a country, if we work very hard, we can put positive results in Egypt, we can put positive things in Egypt, we can position Tanzanian football in Egypt. And it will also give you guys the ability, the possibility to also grow as a media. So for me, it's not about where you're from. I'm not interested about where a player is from. Uh, what I'm interested in is what can this player give to the team? What can you add to the team? What value are you bringing into the team? We qualified with a lot of players. Along the journey, a lot of players have been here. People that started the journey, some are not here. Uh, when I came, new players, and this is how it should be. And when you see a good player that is good, you have to encourage him. You have to give him the opportunity to prove himself. You have to give him the, the, the room to demonstrate that he can be part of the project. Nibada ya kuto shiriki michuano ya Afcon kwa takriban miaka 39. Hatimae. Hileo kikosi cha wachezaji 30 na wawili kimesafiri kuelekea nchini Misri ambako watashiriki michuano hiyo ambayo itaanza kutimua vumbi Juni 21 huku baadhi ya wachezaji akiwemo Ibrahim Ajib pamoja na Jonas Mkude na wengine wakiachwa kutokana na kutoonyesha kiwango kinachotakiwa. Gerard Nyangali, Kwanza TV, Dar es Salaam.